Going for your dreams is an integral part of living a fulfilled life. It's a super scary thing to do and not many of us do it, let alone get the chance to do it. But for those of us who do, and those of you who do, sometimes even our families can be the least supportive. I'm Santa Sierra, I'm a Dominican television writer. Hey, my name is David. So I came out to LA to pursue a creative career. So my name is Helen, I'm from Los Angeles, and I'm a photographer. I'm Sheila, and I'm from Texas, and I came out to LA to pursue my dream in entertainment. I'm originally from El Salvador, I was born there, and right now I'm the owner of Petruga Vintage. A lot of times our Latino families come from a lot of different sorts of trauma. Whether that's dealing with trauma in their family or dealing with trauma in the country that they come from, they basically come with a lot of baggage. Most of our countries, if not all of them, were colonized. So our ideas of what safety means and what the word safety implies sometimes keeps us from achieving a lot of our dreams. It's important to break ancestral trauma one link at a time. You don't have to do something crazy like move across the country or move to LA. Please don't move to LA. We have way too much traffic here. But you can go for your dreams in small ways too. You have access to something that a lot of people never had, which is sitting right in front of you, the internet. I fell in love with television writing when I was a teenager. My mother, she thought that I was crazy because I had a career, I was a teacher. Becoming a television writer meant quitting teaching, having to move to a different state, and basically starting over. Obviously, when I told my family I wanted to move to LA, they were sad, of course, uh, but ultimately very supportive. I started taking photos after my mom passed away as a creative outlet. If I had said that I was going to pursue a full-time creative career like 10 years ago when my mom was alive, I don't think I would be alive. <laughs> I think she would have murdered me. As a first generation, that's not really something that we're given an option of having or doing. That's not a dream you're allowed to have. I grew up with a really close family, so definitely it was hard for my mom and my dad, but they've always been really supportive in my dreams and like pushing me to do stuff that I've always wanted to do. My family was a little nervous. My grandma, she was like, are you sure that this is what you want? I think some of the concerns my family had were, of course, you know, I was kind of jumping into a creative field. How am I going to support myself? Um, how am I going to make money? My parents definitely were like concerned about me going to LA, but they believed in me. My dad actually is from Iran, and he came all the way to America to pursue his dream and be an entrepreneur. So I feel like his mindset really translated to me and made me really driven and really try to like do the thing. Actually, my family wasn't really concerned. They were really supportive. My mom has been my biggest fan, really, uh, since I was a kid. I, as a matter of fact, she was helping me out yesterday, like organizing my inventory. I think it's difficult for someone who comes from another country and comes here and works like super, super hard and essentially is like, I'm going to give my family this opportunity I never had. And I think when we say, hey, I want to take photos for a living of people, all they see in their minds is the starving artist. Well, now that I'm doing very well, she loves it. I think at the beginning, I think that like any parent, if you see your kid quitting everything, of course, there's gonna be some worries. They've always been supportive, but now they understand clear what I'm trying to do. You know, a lot of the questions are less of, you know, let me try to understand this, but more so, you know, how can I help? But now my father was very much on the side of like, I just want to see you happy. You have one life to live and I support you 100%. I called him and um, he was in El Salvador and I told him, hey dad, like here's what's happening. And you know, I know I've had a job pretty much since I was 16, but I'm going to do this and I'm going to work for myself now. And he was like, mija, I'm so happy for you, yes. I feel like my advice for parents that are concerned of their kids following their dreams is to really just believe in their children. Be as supportive as possible, help them out. If they have things that they need help with, just lend a hand. There's always this thing with parenting that people say, well, parents, we want our kids to be better than us. But sometimes better than us feels that they are becoming distant from us. If you're raising a strong, independent, loved, and supported human, you have to trust that you've endowed into them and given them these concepts of who they are. My advice for people that are looking to pursue their dreams is to just be persistent, don't give up. There's not gonna be a perfect moment. Perfection can't ever be achieved, so, with that being said, yes, your first attempt may be flawed, but it's better to have done it than to have never done it at all. Whatever it is, 
that, that you do, you have to do it for you. First and foremost, do what you love, do what you want to do, do what you're passionate towards. So be patient with your family, be patient with your parents. Support around you wants to know what you're doing. I think if you have a dream, you're going to find your tribe. And if you don't find that in your parents, if you don't find that in your family, you will find it amongst your fellow creatives. You can go for your dreams and don't let anybody bring you down, even if it's your own family. Do not give up on yourself. We need you. Adios, mis papitas fritas. Follow like.